Thanks for joining us. You're watching Newsline at noon. I'm Chi Yuzhan in Seoul. Very good to have you with us. I'm Mark Bruin. We start with the latest on Seoul's proposal to hold reunions for families separated since the Korean War. Amid seemingly thawing relations between the two Koreas, South Korea proposed on Monday to hold a fresh round of family reunions in the third week of February. Seoul also suggested to meet for a working level talks Wednesday to fine tune the details of the event. And for the latest, let's go live to our correspondent Hwang Sung-hee at the Unification Ministry. Hi, Sung-hee. Any response from the North yet? No, not yet, Yusun. Although many are expecting an answer from North Korea sometime today, at least on Seoul's offer for the working level talks, which may or may not take place tomorrow at the North Korean side of the truce village of Panmunjom, depending on the North. Now, experts say that North Korea will come under heavy criticism if it turns down the offer once again, since it was the one to make the sudden proposal to, redu uh, to resume family reunions last week. But there is also the possibility of the North making a counter-proposal on the date of the reunion. Now, the date that Seoul proposed is from February 17th to the 22nd, which is right before it begins its annual joint military drills with Washington. Experts say North Korea may ask to schedule the reunions during the military exercise period to pressure Seoul to uh, cancel the uh, military drills or to scale it down. Guys? But we are certainly seeing a much more friendlier tone in uh, communication between the two Koreas recently. We hear progress is being made in regards to the management of the inter-Korean Kaesang industrial complex. That's right, Yusan. Uh, Seoul's unification ministry said that a number of South Korean workers entered Kaesang this morning using a new border cross-entry system. Uh, for the Joint Factory Park, now implementing the radio frequency identification system, also known as the RFID system, was one of the agreements reached between the two Koreas last year to facilitate the South Korean commute to and from the factory park. It also allows uh, South Korean workers to travel in and out of Kaesang at any time on days that they are permitted to cross the border, instead of being allowed to cross the border during a designated time. The electronic system is on a two-week test run, and if no problems are detected, it will be fully implemented after consultations with the North. Guys? Okay, well, thank you very, uh, very much for your report there, Sangi. That was our Hwang Sangi reporting on Seoul's proposal to hold family reunions next month and also on plans to modernize operations at the inter-Korean complex at Kaesong.